I was doing a rest control training uh, with a partner and during that I caught a forearm from him in the side of the neck. Uh, you know, initially it felt like the typical stinger. The next morning I woke up and my right arm was numb and tingling. I had lost sensation in several fingers. I was scared to death coming in for my initial appointment with you because I, I remember that. <laughs> I, uh, I felt like I knew what the news was going to be. And I don't know if you recall, but you put me through all these series of tests and testing strength and looking at MRI scans and stuff. And then I put you through a test. I asked you to hold your hands out. <laughs> that was my test, was to make sure that you had steady hands before you started cutting into my, my neck. I saw that you had a huge disc herniation of pushing on your spinal cord. I was like, this guy needs help, otherwise something bad's gonna happen to him. One of the biggest tenets of the neurosurgery department in the comprehensive spine program is to, is to actually avoid surgery. If we can get someone's life back with non-surgical interventions, we feel like that's far more advantageous to the patient than uh, an individual who we, who we automatically recommend surgery for. Now, of course, if surgery is the right option for you, we've assembled the best team on the Western Slope to be able to provide you those services. Uh, we do some of the most complex surgery uh, on the Western Slope of Colorado. St. Mary's Hospital provides us with the highest level of technology to assist you in surgery. It's good to establish these relationships because, right, we gotta look at you as a whole person, not, not just as a neurosurgery patient. Everything that's going on with you, everything that's going on with your life, and, and then we can treat you, treat you most appropriately. Well, it puts, it put my mind at ease, uh, getting to know the person that was going to be doing the surgery on me. So Scott, did we help you get your life back? Absolutely. Uh, I went back to work, back to full duty, uh, and got that confidence and that strength back to be able to do my job without being afraid, uh, you know. Typically, a day in the life of a state trooper doesn't include wrestling somebody to the ground, but that possibility is always there. And so that was always in the back of my mind, would I be able to handle that and, and do my job to the fullest part of it? And I got all that back. And I was able to go back and coach softball and swing a bat again and throw the ball and hunting and fishing and golfing, it all came back. So. Absolutely. Uh, without the surgery, I wouldn't have been there.